Math riddles are a fun way to train your brain. They combine mind-sharpening math and puzzles that improve analytical thinking. Be very attentive though. Just one slip and you might lose. There are three keys that can open three doors. What is the biggest number of attempts you'll need to figure out the key for each door? If you're really bad at guessing, you'll need six attempts. Key one, three attempts for three doors. Key two, two attempts for two doors. Key three, one attempt for the last door. You have five pieces of chain, each made up of three links. You have to make a long chain out of these five pieces. Welding an open link will cost you $3 and breaking a link open is $1. Can you make a long chain if you have only $15? First, take one piece of chain and break all of its three links open. It'll cost you $3. Then link the remaining four pieces of the chain with these open links. Welding these links will cost you another $9. In total, you'll pay only $12. And how fast will you find the answer to this riddle? It, four, cat, six, time, eight, hippo, one, cheetah. The correct answer is 14. Each letter is worth two points. How can you write 11,111 in digits? Eleven thousand plus one thousand one hundred plus eleven equals twelve thousand one hundred and eleven. In the land of riddles, nine numbers from one to nine want to cross a river. There is a boat, but it can't carry more than three numbers at a time. Plus, the sum of the traveling numbers has to be a square number, and the boat can't move on its own. How many trips will be needed for all the numbers to cross the river? At least seven trips. Two plus five plus nine equals sixteen, then nine goes back. 3 plus 4 plus 9 equals 16. After that, 9 returns. 1 plus 7 plus 8 equals 16. 1 goes back. And finally, 1 plus 6 plus 9 equals 16. I'm 4 times as old as my son now. In 20 years, I'll be twice as old as him. How old are we now? I'm 40 and my son is 10. I'm a three-digit number. My second digit is four times as big as the first one. And the third digit is smaller by three than the second. What number am I? I'm 141. A beautiful water lily grows in the middle of a tiny pond. The flower doubles in size every day. You know that in 10 days, it will cover the entire pond. The question is, in how many days will the lily cover half of the pond? It'll happen on the ninth day. The lily doubles in size every day. It means that it'll cover half of the pond one day before it covers the entire pond. How can you turn 98 into 72 by using just one letter? Add the letter X between 9 and 8. You'll get 9, X8, equal sign 72. Can you find the pattern and figure out the answer to this equation? 4 plus 2 equals 26, 8 plus 1 equals 79, 6 plus 5 equals 111, 7 plus 3. Four plus two equals 26, since four minus two equals sine two, and four plus two equals six. Eight minus one equals sine seven, and eight plus one equals nine, and so on. 
7 minus 3 equals sine 4 and 7 plus 3 equals 10. It means the answer will be 410. Which number's missing? 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. Nope, it's not 4. The missing number is 5. You need to get subsequent 234 and 235. The geese were going to the watering hole in a single file, one after another. One goose looked ahead and saw that there were 17 birds in front of it. It looked back. 42 paws were following him. How many geese were there? Answer, 39. 17 in front, 21 behind, and the goose who counted. A hen and a half lay an egg and a half in a day and a half. How many eggs will half a dozen hens lay in half a dozen days? Twenty-four. If there are four times more hens and they have four times more days, they will lay sixteen times more eggs. Sixteen x one point five equals sine twenty-four eggs. I'll give you three clues, and your task is to find a four-digit number. Its first digit is useless. The second and fourth digits are mirror images of each other, and the third digit is half the second. What is the number? This number is 0848. Zero is the number of no use. The eights mirror each other, and four is half of eight. You have an equation made from matchsticks. 6 plus 4 equals 4. Move just one matchstick to make it true. You need to take one matchstick from the plus sign and add it to 6 so that it makes 8. Then you'll have 8 minus 4 equals 4. A man walked into a hardware store and asked the price of one item. The seller replied, one costs one dollar, eight costs one dollar, thirteen are two dollars, one hundred and sixty-eight costs three dollars, and four thousand nine hundred and eighty-six are four dollars. What did the man want to buy? He was interested in door numbers. Imagine standing in front of a closed room that has three light bulbs. All of them are currently turned off. There are three switches in front of you that are responsible for the light bulbs. You can turn the lights on and off as many times as you like, but you can enter the room only once. Also, you do not know which switch is connected to which light bulb. After entering the room, you can do whatever you want with the light bulbs, but you can't go back to the switches. You need to figure out which switch is responsible for which light bulb. Turn on the first switch and leave it on for some time. Do not touch the second switch at all, but turn on the third switch. Wait for a few minutes and then turn it off again. Now, when you enter the room, you will find one brightly lit light bulb. One light bulb that is turned off, and at the same time, cold to the touch, and one that is also turned off, but warm to the touch. Based on this, you will be able to understand which switch is connected to which light bulb. Divide 30 by 1 half and add 10. What will be the result? It's 70. Most people count like this. 30 halves plus 10 equals sine 25. But when you divide some number by a fraction, you actually have to multiply it by the inverted fraction. So 30 by 2 plus 10 equals 70. How much will a 50 degrees angle measure if you look at it through a microscope that magnifies objects five times? The angle won't change, it'll still be 50 degrees. An ant is two inches away from its home. With every next step, the insect covers half the distance to the entrance. How many steps will it take for the insect to reach its destination?
the ant will never reach the door because every time, it'll travel only half the distance. Three friends went on a road trip. They rented a triple room in a hotel for a night. When they got to the hotel, they paid $30 and went up to their room. The porter brought their bags up and gave them $5 back because the hotel was running a weeknight special. The friends each took $1 and gave the porter $2 as a tip. Later, they decided to write down their expenses for the weekend and found out they had a problem. They each paid $10 for the room and got $1 back, which made their contributions $9. Then they gave the porter a $2 tip, but 9 times 3 is 27. And 27 plus 2 is $29. Where did the extra dollar go? I admit this riddle might seem a bit twisty, but what it boils down to is that the three friends' math is wrong. Having finished all the work, two painters went home. On the way, they met two other painters they knew quite well. How can the first two painters shake hands with the other two painters and not get their hands even dirtier? Given the fact that their hands are all covered in different paints? Keep in mind that luckily all the painters have two gloves that can be passed to others. Let's give our painters some names. Let the first two be A and B, then the second two will be C and D. Painters A and C put on the gloves and greet each other. Now these gloves are stained on one side with the paints they worked with, but the other side of the gloves is still clean. Painter A rearranges his glove and greets D. The glove gets completely dirty, but A can turn the glove inside out and give it to D painters C and B repeat this process. Lastly, B and D greet each other using the gloves turned inside out. In 1.5 minutes, one and a half squirrels gnaw 1.5 nuts. How many nuts can nine squirrels chew in nine minutes? I don't know about you, but my first impulse was to answer nine. But it can't be that simple, right? The key point lies in the conditions of the problem, where one and a half squirrels appear. To find the right answer, let's get rid of half of the poor animal and start working with whole numbers. Let's determine how many nuts one squirrel can chew in 1.5 minutes. If one and a half squirrels gnaw one and a half nuts in one and a half minutes, then one squirrel in the same minute and a half gnaws one nut. The next step is to figure out how many nuts the squirrel will chew if you give it nine minutes. To do it, we need to multiply 1.5 minutes by six. It means that the number of eaten nuts also needs to be multiplied by six. So, one squirrel chews six nuts in nine minutes. Now, all we need to do is to increase the number of squirrels to nine and calculate how many nuts they will eat during the same nine minutes. And we get the answer. Nine squirrels will chew 54 nuts in nine minutes. No magic, simple arithmetic. In this image, you can see some yummy rolls. These two rolls, orange and black, cost $7. There are three rolls on the middle shelf, two black and one orange and together they cost $12. There is one orange roll on the third shelf. How much does it cost? Its price is $2. Now don't take the following riddles too seriously. Try to think outside the box. What usually happens with plants in math classrooms? They grow square roots. What did one math book tell another? I have so many problems. A circle has two, a point has zero, and a sphere has three. What am I talking about? Dimensions. One is to three as three is to five, and five is to four, and four is the magic number. Can you figure out the pattern?
The word one has three letters. The word three has five. And the word five consists of four letters. But the word four has four letters in it. And whatever number you try, eventually, you'll come back to four. That's why it's a magic number. Horses and people are gathered in a stable. You know that in total, there are 72 legs and 22 heads. How many horses and how many people are there in the stable? There are 14 horses and 8 people. 14 plus 8 equals 22 heads. 14 x 4 plus 8 x 2 equals sign 72 legs. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.